An unmet need in urology is the treatment of men in chronic re or recalcitrant urinary retention. In most clinical trials, randomized controlled trials, looking at the newer therapies for LUTs BPH, men in urinary retention are always excluded. Now that some of these new technologies are FDA approved and being used in the community, we use that as an opportunity to address whether or not one of these new technologies, Resume, would be applicable for a population of men in acute retention. We create a retrospective registry based at Southern Illinois University School of Medicine in Springfield, Illinois, a center from Europe and Sweden and several centers in the Midwest, accumulated the data and analyzed in men in retention and treated with this new therapy using convective water vapor to ablate prostate tissue uh, to see how this might help men get free of catheters. We ended up with 53 patients in our registry. These men had a Foley catheter on an average of six months. They were a relatively frail old group of men, which is why they were recalcitrant, because they were too sick, too ill to undergo more standard, more invasive, more taxing types of standard procedures, like a TURP. We treated them um, at physician discretion, meaning there wasn't a common protocol, and then looked at their ability to free themselves from the catheter as well as some other things. What we noted is that in this relatively hardcore recalcitrant group, we were uh, likely to get them successfully free of their catheters about 81% of the time, so remarkably high. Looking at the group, their symptom scores dropped to very low, mild to moderate symptoms. Pulsoid residuals, when measurable, were in excess of 600 cc's preoperatively, postoperatively, around 97 cc's. So on balance, I would say, uh, as a, an initial approach, this registry method has revealed that a frail, sick, older population of men who are catheter dependent, sometimes for many months, can become catheter free with a minimum invasive surgical treatment for Let's BPH. Resume.